spinner into my other hand without letting it stop and if you guys couldn't do it you guys have to smash a like button here guys let's do it three two one let's go Yes, I know I did a video about any productions, but I didn't really like the video that much, so I'm gonna make a new one. And yes, I'm gonna be using this same warden because I do not have a clip yet of my new gladiator, so he will probably be coming out in the next commentary vid. Who is NA Productions? And NA Productions is a YouTuber with 3 million subs. He's also known as the kid that does or did the Gucci Gang ripoff song. And I don't know if I can show or not, but fuck it. My channel, my roles, I guess. Help me! Now, it really, I don't know, if, I don't know, I forgot, how long did it, how long was it before Etika died? Well, well, it doesn't matter, but whenever Etika died, uh, I believe the next two days he decided to make a clickbait video out of him, and obviously he took it down, thank gosh, but he made a very, very crappy sorry video, but I'm not going to get into that, I'm going to get into his now shitty videos. Want to join my free gift cards giveaway? Subscribe to my channel, like the video, and turn notifications on. And finally, tell me on the comment section that you subscribe. Okay, now I had to lower the volume of the bing, ding, ding meme noise, whatever you want to call it. Because it was way too loud, and he, like, you think he might have accidentally spoken pretty low. Well, no, if you go look at his other vids, he speaks pretty quietly whenever he's giving a giveaway. Now that, I really don't think you should speak that quietly, but hey, if that's him... Let him do his vid of speaking quietly. ASMR giveaway. That's what I'm gonna call it from now on. He was doing an ASMR giveaway, I guess. The police? The fuck is the police gonna do? There's- what? Oh yeah, I'm gonna- yeah, I'm gonna call 911 and see if they can help me with the ghost problem. No, that's not gonna work. Oh my gosh. You know what? I might as well just make a 3 a.m. bathroom challenge. Just do it right now. I went to make a 3 a.m. challenge and it's dark outside. Look how dark it is. Jeez. And it's on my phone. It's telling me it's- it's 3- 3 a.m. So come on, let's go in the bathroom. Alright, I already did the ritual. And I'm gonna call my dogs whenever they need help. Whenever I need help. Right, Mally Rico, come here. Come here. You're gonna help me with the ghost problems? In case if I need help? Because clearly you can beat up ghosts, right? And if that doesn't work, then you guys can call 911. Alright, let's go. Come on. Rico, you can't help me. You can't help me right now. It says it can only be one person, so let's go in the room. We're in the room. Alright, let's do the 3 hand challenge. Oh, what's happening? Oh my gosh, I think I survived the challenge. I'm survived. I am now survivor. Now I need to write a book of the challenge. Enrico, you're in no help at all. Yo, look at the time, guys. Come on. Look at the time. It is 3.15 a.m. in the morning right now. And I'm actually... Yo, there is nobody outside right now, alright? Because like, everybody is asleep. It's just gotta be me in the elevator. And the elevator game only works when you're alone in the elevator, alright? Because that's the scary part. I wanted to go with my friend, alright? Because I wanted to do this challenge with my friend in the elevator. But... The ritual said you have to be alone in the elevator, right guys? And that made me more worried and scarier. But it's gonna be more interesting, alright guys? Because you're alone in the elevator and no one is there to help you. It's just gonna be me 
and my phone all right yes it says you cannot take any phones inside but i'm actually gonna take all right and i'm gonna take the camera of course because it says no camera and no phones are allowed while doing the challenge but i'm just gonna keep the camera somewhere yo we need to see what actually happens in the elevator at 3 a.m i love how he says okay I'm, i can't bring my friend because it won't work and then it says don't bring your camera or phone and it won't work but yeah he's gonna do it and Guess what? It's gonna work. Not a shocker. Jeez, wow, I'm very shocked that it worked. That's what makes it scary, right? I wonder what the security people are thinking like, why the fuck is this grown dude, or not even a dude, why is this kid, or however old he, however old he is, holding a camera and saying, alright, we're gonna do the elevator challenge. I really would like to know what they're thinking, or what they're even probably doing, I don't know, mostly thinking. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Rico. Retardo, come here. Retardo. Come here, Rico. Oh my gosh, she actually came up the stairs. What a shocker. Alright, there's no one. Alright, we have to say the ritual now. Come on, guys. Retardo game. Retardo game. Retardo game. Retardo game. This is actually really scary, guys. Look, you, you're actually in the elevator at 3 a.m. in the morning. Wait, in the morning? I thought it was late at night. We have been tricked. We have been backstabbed. We have been quite possibly bamboozled. Ah, yes, finally, now we got to the Oh my god, Shaw clickbait face that we usually see in every single clickbait channel. Let's go back to the third floor, guys. I swear I saw something at the third floor. It was really scary, guys. I love how come some clickbait channels just pull a horror movie stupid move where they see danger and they either A, try to attack it, or B, they just try to go back or see it again for some strange reason. Okay, I want to know what was the purpose of the jump cut because I really saw no reason for him to legitimately him going inside and he just said, okay, I'm going to need to pause the camera and then unpause it whenever I get back in. Like, was that really necessary? No, I don't think it was. This acting is horrible, I swear. Oh my gosh, my dogs. Legitimately, I hate the acting. Like, it's, it's really, really bad. Like, at least he's trying. But that thing's not good. I could possibly do a better 3 a.m. challenge. Should I do a 3 a.m. challenge? I would do a 3 a.m. challenge if you guys, I don't know, comment or leave a dislike. I don't know. Either more dislikes and I'll do a 3 a.m. challenge or leave a comment and I'll do it. Okay, so I didn't understand what he said, but thank goodness Google Translation is there to help us.
actually saw her. You... Wait, what? I'm getting a phone. Ah, of course. It can't be a 3 a.m. challenge if there was a no... Whatever the... What's it called again? <laughs> it can't be a 3 a.m. challenge if no person called you at 3 a.m. Then it will kind of ruin the whole thing. But yeah, that's the whole episode for today. I hope you liked it, and I'm sorry that's 10 minutes. And I'm usually trying to make it shorter, but I didn't make it shorter this time. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. But if you want me to do the fake 3 a.m. challenge video, then I guess leave a dislike or comment. I don't know, I might or might not do it. Well, that's all. Uh, I guess thanks for watching, and tschüss.